Good evening, hunters, and welcome back to another episode of Greg Tech New Horizons. I feel like I have, I have everything planned out for this episode. For once, we are going to be doing a lot of stuff. Well, a fair amount of work, because I am going to be moving everything on the second floor here down into the basement. Because, as I explained in the previous episode, I'm pretty sure I explained it. We, I'm gonna have to move this because the piping is just gonna be all over the place. And I feel it's gonna be better having everything below ground instead of, you know, up here where it's like one, one block the floor. Plus, the iron tank in of itself is four blocks tall and the basement is five blocks tall, so it should be rather fitting to put it back down there. I have been using the machines on overtime, like pretty much just putting everything, every production available to me. I also made a couple of anvils right here which I need for the forge hammer so that's also one of the goals we're gonna be working on we're gonna be trying to make a forge hammer which means we can I think that means we can do like one ingot or one plate I think it is I'm pretty sure that's what, that's what that allows and according to the quest line that means the next thing would be steel which I'm assuming then will allow us to make well get us closer, if not already allow us to join in on the tier 2, which is 32 EU, which is the low voltage era. We have the extractor I need to, move, need to make at some point, get more out of our rubber. But for now, I th like I said, we're gonna be moving everything downstairs, we're gonna make a forge hammer, which will then allow us to do steel production, if, I recall, if I'm correct in assuming that. I'm also gonna be work, gonna try and fix a like set up a sheep farm because the cotton in and of itself it's just not growing fast enough, not fast enough at all. So we I'm probably gonna get look go all around exploring a little bit, see if I can't find any sheep roaming about. There's one out there that I shared earlier. I've been doing a fair amount of mining. I've I and I finally fucking find found the. Chalco pyrite that I was looking for. Which was all the way down here. Right there. Chalco pyrite. Elusive son of a bitch. Right next to brown limonite. So that's perfect. We got iron right there. We got copper right there. We also got tin right there and right there. And also up here. We have pretty much everything we need. Fairly close by. Everything's connected via the uh, mining tunnel tunnels that I made in the time lapse. Depending on how long this will take me, I'm probably gonna do more building because this is just getting boring to look at, looking just at cobblestone. And try and spice it up a little bit, like I've done with the floor. All right, so I guess let's just get to it. So our objective here, I'm gonna be moving everything. I've, like I said, I'm put everything on overtime just just to drain the steam that I had in here, just so. I don't have to worry about losing anything. Just spent it on building the anvils. So now we're gonna be moving everything. Okay, I probably need my bronze pickaxe here. Oh, and one other, one other thing I, I found out in, in the during in the quest. Why am I, why am I trying to mite another chisel? I need a wrench. <laughs> um, the the thing that I found out was that apparently Thomcraft is the mod. I need to look, be looking at if I want to get auto, auto repair on my tools. I'm gonna have to dabble in the arcane arts at some point. Not gonna be right now, but not in this episode. I tend to focus a lot more on technical stuff when it comes to dip certain mod packs. I like like focus on industry and making machines over magic. I've done equivalent exchange, for example, in, in the Techit mod pack and the Technic mod packs. But well, that was all, that was pretty much just like a hybrid of equivalent exchange and build craft, industrial craft, etc. Here I'm gonna be focusing mostly on the technological stuff. Dismantle all this and be, move, be moving everything. Hopefully, it won't break my my engine. My it seems everything is fine. Yep, everything seems fine. I'm just making sure that nothing is broken in the pro in the process. Right, I probably need to move this as well. I'll have, I'll, fi I'll figure that out. I'll just I'll just put everything downstairs how I want, like how I want it. 
probably gonna be moving the water tank to be uh, probably right outside here, next to the coke oven, I'm guessing. Just so I have shorter access, we're gonna be moving everything to about here, I think. Move this, but there is a bunch of holes in the ground that I want to... I think I'm... I think I, the reason I kept this open is because I wanted to, like, mine all this out at some point, because I'm in the middle of a vein. I think it's all... I think it's apparent fair for me to just make it look a little bit nicer. What I'm gonna do is I'm... Okay, my inventory is full again, so I need to actually empty that out. Got a block of iron, an extra one from the quest as a little reward. All I need is really one slot open so I can get some cobblestone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using this tunnel and just dig my way through here. Everything, most, m mostly... Like, everything is mostly above ground, so it's not that big of a deal. But here we go. Now I'm gonna be... I think I'm gonna do, like, the opposite of what I did earlier with... I usually like having things going from left to right. But I could do it... I could do it, like, there, but I think I'm gonna do... Hmm, do I really want to, want to do that, though? And this is starting to be a kind of a dilemma. And I'm not sure if I wanted to do, like, next right next to the farm, or if I want to do it... Like up against this wall. I don't know how how much time how much this is gonna take in terms of space. Could do. I think we're gonna do. I'm just gonna put the boiler. I like having space and all that, but for the sake of this, we're gonna do go against go against that a little bit. So here we go. I'm gonna need to do this. Connect that up. I'm gonna have to do the iron tank again. I'm gonna do that. Just on the floor here. Hmm, do I really want to do that though? I'm gonna raise it a little. Let's raise it up. Nah, um, okay, here, here we go again. Now I'm starting to consider how I'm supposed to be building this. Yeah, put, put the valve there, put the piping in as such. Oops. A little bit of a server issue there. Here we go. I'm gonna be putting the pipes here, connecting that up while I'm down here. I wanna get this below something like this. I said something like oh, there we go. There we go. And, and because this is what this is what I was afraid about afraid of, is everything will just now blocking the tunnel here. Um, I guess I didn't really plan this out, did I? Ah, oh, fuck it. We'll, we'll just go with it. We'll roll with it. I think I'll just be expanding this a lot. A lo just... I guess I'll just remove this whole wall. Why not? Just for now. And I'll figure out what, what to do with it later. Something like this. We're gonna have the pipes come back up. And over something like here. Maybe blocking this up a little bit. Maybe move the just move the entire entrance to somewhere like there. There we go. Probably gonna need I'm to save at least six of them. So that's actually that actually works out pretty pretty well. If I move this just over. Scoot it over a little bit. Something like that. Okay, oops, I need to actually connect that before I do anything. There we go. We're gonna have the macerator there. We're gonna have the alloy smelter about there. And the compressor there. Steam forge hammer will be there. And the furnace. Oh, yeah, I also made a steam furnace just to. Maximize my steam output. Well, steam usage, I guess, just to get everything used up. Connect everything up. And boosh. I'm gonna block this up again. And there we go. Oh, we have set that set up. Right, I need to actually. I need to move this, just move it down a little bit. I'm going off on what I had originally. 
Let's move this. Put that down there. I need a little slot for the for the water water pipes to go in. I'm gonna put right here. so. Well, not the most optimal way to do this, but if it works for me, it works for me. That's my motto. If it works, it works. Why not? Why change it? Boom. Now there, and then we just fill in fill in the. Boom. Now we have the output there. We have the input in here. Because I knew I was gonna have. I, need, I can I could only like spend two pieces of fluid pipes. Because I need six of them for the forge hammer. I'll show you the recipe right here. I'm also going to be working on the bronze hull. I guess I have everything else, just not the bronze hull, which needs eight bronze plates. I did make some bronze before I started this, but I don't think I made enough before steam ran out. I'm going to be setting up the water production. I'm going to probably going to have to move the entire thing. Now that I think about it, let's see water pipes. Or rather, wooden pipes. Wooden fluid pipe, that's the word. Okay, it's pretty, pretty simple then. Soft mallet and a saw. Soft mallet, just gonna use that up, then I'm gonna bring that. Saw and some planks. I think it was. Yeah. Oops. I guess I can. I guess I can just use the ones I already have. Hopefully, that will be enough. And I have to go outside and dismantle the whole thing. Well, not dismantle. Just move the piping a little bit. There we go. So we're gonna put the piping out from here. I think. No. I guess if I actually. This like this, they will actually automatically connect. That's nice. Just, I think I just get, I guess, along, along here. It's fine. I'm gonna have to use the minimap a little bit to be my guide. Pretty sure it's about here. Wait, what? About here. Yep. I just need to be a little bit, a little bit further down. And it's turning turn night time. Night time. Great. And I'm out of pipes anyway, so I'm... Probably gonna have to... Eh, I'll just make some new ones. Right now, I'm gonna, just gonna go back to sleep, and then we'll continue in the morning. Right, so now we need... I need a little bit more planks. I'm just gonna do that, and I'm not gonna bother with the saw. I know that's not exactly efficient of me, but I don't really give a shit. At this moment, because I want to get this done. And leave them there. Why not? And I realized I left my door open. Luckily, nothing's. None of the monsters are smart enough, or rather, they probably haven't haven't even spawned. Actually, go come and get me. Even though I left my front door wide open. Well, sucks for them. Patch this up while I go around. Wait, I'm probably gonna need to move this. Yeah, I need to move it a couple of blocks. Might as well do it now. And... Oosh. Now we have water. That's my little water input now. Grab this small ores while I'm here. Why not? Pass this up to make it look a little bit nicer. It's gonna look ugly anyway, but it'd be a little bit nicer. Now we have steam production, pretty much. Now I'm just gonna pop some charcoal in there, just boot it up and get a supply of steam going. So now we have pretty much just moved everything. 
this is gonna be my new setup. Of course, everything has, every, all of these have the exhaust open, so there's no no danger of of exploding machines. The mining shaft has been moved a little bit. It's gonna trigger my little like little um, what's the word? I want to say OCD, but it's kind of like OCD. Like I like it have I like have it having everything symmetric. But eh. Now we have an infinite infinite supply of water. We and we also have steam going. I'm probably gonna be moving the coke oven downstairs as well at some point. We might do that as well, just to have everything in one place because I'm gonna be needing everything. I'm gonna I'm gonna be needing the charcoal production close by to the boiler. But I don't want to lose all this creosote oil. Even though I can just make more, I want to keep. Like I don't want to waste anything. But that's just me. My next goal now is to make the forge pipe. Forge pipe, the forge hammer, Jesus. But for that, I am I do need the I will need the whole operation going again. I did macerate up some more chalco pyrite. As well as some cassiterite. We have a those amount of that a fair amount of that already set to go. All I need to do is smelt it up. It's gonna put the Okay, so we have that's enough for two sets of bronze. And why isn't it why isn't this making any Maybe it does need to fire up a little bit. Okay, maybe I should be Yeah, I should, you should have been so preemptively putting in the putting up the outpost already. So do that, just let this fill up a little bit before we before I go any further. I'm just gonna put all the other pieces inside the crafting bench up here because I think I, I think I did that already. If not, then I'll just do it. So, everything's been sorted out. Now all I need to do is just check what do I have available to me right now. We have the piston because everything we need now is the bronze hole. That's everything we need. So how um, I have five bronze ingots ready to go already. That that's um, enough for two plates at this moment. Yeah, we're one quarter of the way as of now. Now we need six more bronze ingots, which that should be enough. The ones I put it in the alloy smelter here. Yes, that's enough for for the operations. We need the wrench. Oop. And hopefully not ev everything before it won't suck ev won't suck it all up, like the macerator won't be sucking everything up. I guess I could just do this. And like this. I just have the alloy smelter getting all the steam. I was a little bit late on that, now that I think about it, because now all the machines have taken all the steam. Oh, okay. It works. Guess I got enough for... Anyway. Right, so we have... Ooh, the wheat is, the wheat is done. Oh, it sounded like I said wheat, like weed. My wheat farm is done. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I'll fix it later. That's gonna be my cast phrase, isn't it, at this point? Ah, I'll do it later. Okay, we don't have enough steam. Cut off your steam. That's gonna be annoying. I need to get this to, to go back up to a stable level again. Wait for that again. You know what, I'm gonna let that build up a little bit, so we're gonna be... Now that I have some wheat, we could just go out and find some sheep. We're gonna set up the farm thing over here, just around here. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna, okay, maybe I'll maybe I should just chop down this tree because it's getting in the way. Been there since like episode two or three, maybe. But alas, it is time for you to go, my friend. And there it goes again. I still don't know why it does that. Like, why it keeps lagging every now and then, as if I'm on a server, but I am not. I am playing single player, so I don't know why that is. 
while that's happening. Maybe I'll just move it there. Plug this up a little bit. Can't, don't block up my creosote. I'm gonna get that, get that back at some point. Make it seem like I have a natural creosote oil, oil reservoir or something. I need to go back to sleep and we'll continue this in the morning. Right, so... Let's see. Move the, all the grass. Make a little room for a fence gate, if I can make those. Fence gate, what do you need? Or do I have one? Yeah, I, that's easy to, easy enough to make. I guess fence gates were like my early game way of getting a door, I assume. Yeah, I, I have plenty of them for some reason. I guess I got them in a quest or something. Bada boom! Now we have a sheep farm. Well, a, an area for the, for the sheep to be in. And now we just get some sheep. This is the tedious part, just moving, just having the, getting the sheep back to the, back to base. Especially if you have to go hunting for them. Come here, sheepy. That's it, you want the weed. You want the good weed. Come on. Do you want the weed? Come on. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. You stay right there. I go find yourself, go find you a girlfriend. Or a boyfriend. Whichever. I think I see a sheep over here from the minimap. Yep, there he is. Come here, sheepy. Oh, there are a bunch of them. Oh, hell yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get both of them. Oh, there's, there's another one over there. And there. Jesus. I might as well just get, ev get all of them. Because, why not? More wool. I don't have to worry about breeding them and every time. I'm back here. Come meet your new friend, and make make some wool for me, please. I'm tired of gr watching cr cotton grow. Like there are m more important stuff for me to do than just watch cotton grow. Oh Jesus! <laughs> what the fuck? Come on, idiot! Come on! You're dumb, but you're not an idiot. You two make love. I, I incentivize your brother over here. Get over here. No. No, 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 don't you fucking run off. Don't even try me. This is, like, this is the part I hate the most about Minecraft, is because they will just... Okay, they are... Are they ready for... No. They just... They're just attracted to me. Hey, 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 hey! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Hey, how about you come with me? Both of you. And he's glitching through the through the through the floor. Okay. Come on. No. Hey, this is the. There we go. G no. 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 You stay in here. You stay. Stay. Don't even think about it. Don't you even think- Ah! Don't think about it. I'm warning you. No, 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 no. Dang. I think I have enough. Anyway, I'm not gonna be bothering. Where did I leave my shears? <laughs> there they are. Come, give daddy some wool. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And I can't pick it up. Great. Fuck that. Fuck the seeds. I'll just... This instead. Wool is more important. So now we have a sheep farm. Well, the start of one, anyway. Okay, why is there a small wooden fluid pipe in there? So how's my steam running? We got a fair amount of... of it left here now. So now this should be running without problems. Right, I probably need one more operation. We're just gonna be... And I'm looking at the timer right now. I am a little bit over the overtime. But, you know. I wanna get this done. Where did I leave my... Okay, I already have it in my inventory. Never mind. We're gonna get the furnace going. Or uh, chocolate pyrite going. So we get copper. There we go. Three pieces will be enough. 
Inventory is full again. We empty it, empty it out. Oh, I already had a bunch of... Okay. I guess I overspent. Hey, at least I have enough fluid pipes. Yeah, that's, that's enough. That in there. I'm just gonna be waiting for that to finish up, then we'll be I'll be back in a moment. And three, two, one. Boom. And also There we go. Now we have the bronze hole we need. I'm gonna go back upstairs, put the final piece in our pu little puzzle here. And there we go, a steam forge hammer. Hammer time version two. And now we pretty much have a one to one scale. Oh, one to one scale. I mean, one to one ratio of ingot to plate. If I'm not mistaken. So if I go into, let's say, iron plate now. Okay, yeah, so we can put three iron ingots in and we get two iron plates. So it shorten it down a little bit. Let me just see what the quest book says so I'm not completely mistaken here. Easy six ingots to craft a hammer seems pretty wasteful as this tool has durability. Yeah, no shit. How nice would it be to have a machine that does the same but without having durability and using three ingots to make two plates? Right, so instead of having four plates, having four ingots to make two plates, we now, well, we lessened the waste a little bit. So basically, instead of using four ingots, we now use three ingots, like one less ingot per two plates or something. Like one and a so that will be one and a half ingot per plate. It's not bad. It's better than just wasting time building more hammers. Let's see. Just gonna claim the claim this. And then I also think I have some loot bags that I wanted to do. I think I have some stored away. I empty my inventory first of all. There you go. Now I have. Yes, I had two loot bags. What we get? We got beef Wellington, and we also get asparagus soup. For more food. Eh, not a, not a bad trade. So that's gonna be it for this episode of Greg Tech New Horizons. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, then feel free to leave a like. If you didn't, then feel free to leave a dislike. And as always, if you enjoy the content, then feel free to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.